We back at it. We back at it. Y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to hit that like button and drop down in the comments like we always, like you always do, my brothers and sisters. We back at it. It's your boy PBK9s giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Raw and uncut. <laughs> some folk gonna like it. Some folk ain't, man. Some folk gonna like it. Some folk ain't. Why y'all picking on the news, man? That's what I gotta say for the day. Why y'all picking on the news, man? Big salute to all the dog lovers from one side of the world to the other side of the world. From one side of the country to the other side of the country. You know, let's get into this dog talk for the day. A little bit of dog news for y'all brothers and sisters as well. You know, uh, I asked y'all when I ended the last video, I said, can we tell the difference between a pedigree dog, an Oroy dog, and a Victor dog, an Uber Canuba dog, uh, um, uh, you know, just your higher grade of dog food dog compared to your lower grade of dog food dog. So I got some pictures right here, and let's just see, can we tell the difference between the pedigree dog, the Victor dog, and the Oroy dog, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it just goes to back to the questions of which foods are the best foods that the brothers and sisters be asking, you know, throughout the platforms and throughout social media. The best food is the food that agrees with your dog system, the food that, you know, just like trial and error, just like anything else. You know, you, you, you go through 10 different bags of 10 different kinds of dog food, but you're going to look at each one of them foods and you can tell out of each one of them foods which food your dog enjoys the most and which food does your dog's body the best. You know, have your dog looking the best body-wise. You know, and you'll see that as you go through different foods. And you just have to keep that in mind. And like I said on the last video, you always want to keep in mind of the, the, the cheapest food that you can find that keeps your dog where he needs to be at. You know what I'm saying? Just in case you can't, you're not one of the ones that's trying to... Uh, get all the high dollar food then find the cheapest food as well and you never know when you can't get that high dollar food and you need to rely on a food that's going to keep your dog just as healthy you know as you was feeding them the other food and you might end up switching in the long run so like i said check these pictures out as i show them one by one and y'all tell me which one is the pedigree dog or which one is the old roy dog and which one is the more expensive dog food now a lot of my brothers and sisters might try to look at the pictures and say oh the pit bull come from the victor and the other dog come from the other dog food but i'm gonna switch it up on you you know what i'm saying i'm gonna switch it up on you so y'all check it out man and, and if you got a brother who feeding old roy you know what i'm saying and you want to uh put it beside a brother that you know is feeding victor you know i'll be glad to take them pictures and and do the comparison for brothers because i know you're not gonna be able to tell the difference you know now that person themselves will be able to tell the difference as they feed in different dog foods. As they feed in different foods, they'll be able to see how that food does their dog. They'll be able to see how this food does their dog and this food does their dog. You know, you'll be able to tell different things, you know, so that's why you got to pay attention to your dog, you know. But drop them pictures, man, and like I said, tell me which dogs y'all think is the old Roy, which dogs y'all think is the victor. Or which dogs y'all think is the pedigree, you know? And let's keep this thing moving, man. Let's keep this thing moving. You know what I'm saying? Drop down in the comments. Drop down in the chat. Which dog, which dog foods you think belong to the dog? You know, big salute to my brothers down in the chat, my sisters down in the chat, and all the brothers and sisters is watching this video from afar. Big salute to you. Big shout out to you, to all the dog lovers. You know, big shout out to all the bully gang crew, the whole bully gang crew from all the bully breeders. You know what I'm saying? Um, big salute to all the band dog breeders, all the working dog breeders, no matter what breed of working dog it is, and all the house dog breeders, all the pocket pit breeders, and XL bullies, and microchip bullies, and whatever kind of, but they got so many different bullies. Big, big salute to all of them, man. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep this thing going. You know, I, I, old Elmer want to keep messing with me, right? Oh, Elma, Elma want to keep messing with me. Elma, give me. Elma James Givens, for the brothers and sisters that may not know, want to keep messing with me. You know what I'm saying? The biggest scumbag in the dog community want to keep messing with me. So first, I'm going to start it off by talking about how things going to escalate when I start posting into these other dog groups. 
You know, right now I've just been posting in the pit bull groups. But wait till I start posting into these other dog groups where the brothers and sisters hang at that y'all call so-called tree huggers. You know what I'm saying? Wait till I start posting these videos in them groups that have nothing to do with pit bulls, period, in general. You know what I'm saying? The ones that going to talk all that trash up under my videos. I don't care. I'm just going to post a video up under there. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Folk got to be ready for things to get on a level where they wasn't thinking about taking it to when they step out of line. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. That's, about the, that's the whole meaning of the phrase, stay in your lane. It don't mean you're a sucker. It don't mean you're a crab. It don't mean you're whatever you want to be called. You know, it just means stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm going to be posting in all them groups. So if I'm not posting in the the, the, the Frisco group or this group or that group, it don't mean, because, uh, you know, I can only post in so many groups at a time. It don't mean I, I, I'm neglecting y'all brothers. <clears throat> it just mean, you know, I'm drawing in another crowd as well. You know what I'm saying? Drawing in another crowd. Big salute to all my dog lovers once again. You know what I'm saying? Once again. So now we got Elma James Givens, a.k.a. Kraken, a.k.a. Buck City, a.k.a. Pellet Gun Buck, a.k.a. The Shit Man. You know what I'm saying? And that old game banging ass Ram, walk him down Ram. You know what I'm saying? The fake crip. You know? The fake crip. <laughs> Keep, can't, for some for some reason, you know what I'm saying? When Ram talk, it sounds like he got a dick in his mouth. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, I just I just can't listen to folks say they they they, they talk all kind of shit about the way I speak. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, uh, I don't talk like I got something chunked in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Old game banging ass Ram still over there talking, hopping from dick to dick. Ain't ain't built up a channel yet. I said it. I told him a couple months ago he didn't build up a channel. You would have thought he would build up a channel by now. You know what I'm saying? That's because the brother see your information ain't worth a damn. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it. <laughs> you can't do it. You know? And and for the for the life of me, I can't figure out, you know. Why Ram so mad? Why Ram so mad? Because all them boys left you? They, just like they left Buck, Ram, they left you too. You know? And the reason why they left you is because you don't got nothing going on. You just out here floating around running your big ass dick, dick, dick sucking ass mouth. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is, man. You can only expect certain things from certain brothers. You know what I'm saying? You can only expect certain things from certain brothers. And apparently, it makes a lot of y'all brothers mad, you know, that I told y'all when Bach left, when Roster Man left, you know, a lot of y'all dog credentials left. Ram didn't have to leave. He ain't worth a fuck in the dog community. You know what I'm saying? That tough guy shit he talked, that shit only flies over there in Arizona where he at. It don't even fly in California. You know what I'm saying? That shit he be talking. And y'all boys ain't pulling up on nothing. Everybody hip to y'all game. The whole LDBCQ community. You know what I'm saying? All y'all. That lame dummy boxing boxing community. Everybody hip to y'all. Y'all ain't hurting nobody. You know, y'all just a bunch of guys from the West Coast and, and Milwaukee that talk tough and ain't doing shit to nobody. Period. Nobody scared of y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? Period. Only folk y'all scared was pro and game magazine that time when y'all told them y'all was going to Find him and all kind of shit like that and have people looking for him, man. Let's hear. <laughs> the boy's going to tell you, it ain't worth it coming to look for me. I'm going to tell you now. They're going to send you a letter back or they're going to type you back or they're going to call you back. It ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay out of that shit, big dog. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I said, man, don't get mad with me because like, cause Bach left, because uh, Roster Man left. Garcia, he keep popping his head up and I keep warning them, telling them stay out of them cars with them boys that's them doing that fuck shit. He keep popping his ass up. He keep popping his ass up. Now I'm trying to stay off of him. You know, trying to stay off of him. But I, I keep popping your ass up. It's just going to be is what it is with you. No. It's going to be is what it is with you. All the other dog men, the, the logical dog men, they, they, stay, in, they stay in their, their lane, their zone. Some reason, some another, you know, you feel invincible. You know? 
So like I told you, you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is for my brothers. I got to hold it down the way I hold it down, do what I do, how I do it. You know, I got a fake gang banger and a fake dog man wannabe on my case. You know what I'm saying? Right here talking about they smoking a Merino pack. Listen here, man. Y'all helping brothers know more about my dog than anything y'all got going on, period. Period. You know? And I ain't the only motherfucker that be on YouTube that don't like how Ram talk. You know what I'm saying? Don't like, and not what he talking about. This is voice tone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just his voice. Sound like got a bunch of shit clogged in it. Then you ain't talking about nothing. You had more experience with staffs than you did with game dogs. The only game banger that brought his game banging to the dog community. And we don't believe that shit. You ain't stepping on nothing. You ain't walking down nothing. Why you call yourself walking down action again? You know, why you worrying about me? Walking down Ram, I ain't even talking about you on none of this YouTube shit. You ain't got nothing going on. You ain't never had shit going on. You was just a, fuck, a fucking accessory on 7, 8 channel with, with the whole panel the boys had up there. All you was was an accessory, Ram. You know, <laughs> you an accessory that need, you was an old accessory. They need to go read some damn sporting dog journals, just like some of them young boys. You know what I'm saying? I can't knock them boys because they young. You know, but your old ass, you ain't got no dog experience. That's why you keep talking shit because you old as hell and you, you, you still green. Don't get mad with me, big dog, big Stephen, because you still green and you old as hell. Oh, oh. Hey, how many times y'all gonna tell me I'm skinny? I can't, everybody ain't fat, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't take steroids. And one thing about it, I'm 45 years old. I ain't just woke up yesterday skinny. I, I went through all my school, all my street, all my every damn thing skinny. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, y'all boys worrying about the wrong shit. I keep telling y'all. Y'all act feminine. Y'all, every day y'all show me more and more feminine traits. Feminine traits, feminine traits. You're all the way over there in, no, in the middle of nowhere in Tacoma, Tacoma County, the Tacoma County scumbag talking about rolling up on somebody. And why the fuck would I leave off this fucking East Coast to go to the damn Tacoma? I don't give a damn if I was going on vacation, dog shows, whatever I'm going to, I can do it on the East Coast. We jumping over here, dog. Damn the t Tacoma. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> damn the Tacoma. You and a, a dude named Ram, you know, that look like a Ram. You know what I'm saying? Look, and talk like he got rammed up his ass. But hey, I ain't no gang banger. I'm a dog banger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and what I'm banging on is folk out here with no credentials, <laughs> no dog history, talking about another man's life. You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything Buck City, a.k.a. James Elmer Givens, a.k.a. the pellet gun man from Tacoma, County, a.k.a. busted by the drone in Facebook. Everything he talk about is reliving somebody else's life. You know what I'm saying? Reading, he might be read a book or two. Read, reliving somebody else's life. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell y'all, man. That as ignorant as y'all see that he be up here on his Facebook and YouTube, he was just that ignorant when them folk busted him them three times in a matter of two years. Then you, you, you the only motherfucker in the United States get busted three times in two years and then take another man dog with another man name on it and scatter it all across the country with your name behind it and start in trouble with your name behind it. And like I said before, Maul Cunt, you ain't had nothing to do with it. But tell me, you got common sense, right, Maul Cunt? You know, you got Maul common sense, right? Now tell me this, use a gunsmith. You make bullets, right? You make bullets. This fool over here ain't got no bullets, but he got plenty guns, right? And you make bullets. <laughs> and he getting all this ammunition from you. He getting all this ammunition from you and coming at me with it. So you don't think I have the, 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 the right? You don't think I'm supposed to come at you <laughs> with, all the, with all the power I can, with all the knowledge I can, Knowing when you when y'all brothers ain't doing right out here in this dog game, you know, 
You don't see me doing the right thing in this situation? You know, it's your boy coming at me with your ammunition. So since he want to come at me with your ammunition, it just is what it is. I had to say about the Sanchez because that's real shit. It's real shit that I maybe wouldn't have said nothing about if your boy wouldn't have came at me with the dogs. But since he want to come at me, I'm bringing your shit like out. You know what I'm saying? The little hurt dog. Now y'all boys trying to fake and lie and talking about that's a different little hurt. Man, listen, that's the same little hurt. You know what I'm saying? The same damn little hurt. You know, the sporting dog journal y'all talking about is not old. You know, yeah, it's old. Too old for us to be worrying about, but it ain't too old for that dog to be the same damn dog in the damn book. You know what I'm saying? The hell with what y'all talking about. If you don't want your business out there, you shouldn't be fucking with people that's all the way doing their shit the legitimate way. Trying to make their dollar and make their living the legitimate way. And you want to come out here and butt and, and, and talk all kind of shit. And then turn around and say, oh, don't go right there. That's hitting below the belt. Don't go right here. The hell with what y'all talking about, man. Y'all try to post my house and all kind of shit. The hell with you talking about, like I say, Elmer Gibbons, James, Elmer Fudge, Gibbons, James, um, Buck City, a.k.a. Pellet Gun Crack, Shit in the Cage Man, a.k.a. Get my dogs from all cunt. The hell with all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Patrick Peterson. The hell with you. You on Facebook talking a bunch of bullshit. The hell with you too. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm, a, I'm got a big bucket. And I'm putting all y'all motherfuckers in that one bucket. You know what I'm saying? You got the fake crip. You got mall cunt. You know what I'm saying? You got James L. McGivens, pellet gun buck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> A.K.A. The, the, the cheapest keep in the world. The $50 keep. Let's show that dog that's coming from the $50 keep. $50 keep, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them boys can name them neck bone. You know, neck bone. All you can see is neck and bone on that. And that's that's a girl, dog. Yes, that's a girl, dog. But like, I, like we said, by that being a girl, dog, all that tell us is, damn, I feel sorry for the puppies. You know, ain't no way in the hell them puppies healthy when that girl, dog, looking like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way in the shit. See, a lot of y'all brothers selling all them wormy ass looking puppies to these brothers out here. Somebody need to tell y'all that them puppies is wormy that you got. You think you're selling some some hyped up, good looking shit, and that shit look wormy as hell, man. I hate that it fucking damn didn't know or hurt a lot of y'all brothers' feelings out there, man. But get your fucking damn puppy game up before you get out here bragging about it and showing some shit on online pairs and thinking that shit hot, man. And a brother brother hurts your feelings when he tell you, oh man, you need to worm the dog. Cause now you want to talk all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Y'all dealing with a real dog man with dog credentials, whether you like him or not. You know what I'm saying? None of y'all brothers, I tell you what, I done dismantled 12 of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I done dismantled 12 of y'all. And I tell you what, I shut a page down or two. You know, Welsh Combine Kennel. He talked a whole bunch of shit about me a year ago, asking where his page went at. That motherfucker flopped. That bitch went flop. Like a lot of them rappers out there. <laughs> Made one damn song. His song wasn't even hot. Welsh made a song and it wasn't even hot and his whole page flopped. The motherfucker ain't did shit in a year's time, you know? And he went the same route y'all brothers trying to go, trying to diss the bay, trying to talk shit about the bay. He right here selling black sesame seeds mixed with motherfucking damn egg, dried out egg yolk. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I know what you got. I know what you're working with, big homie. Hey, don't get mad with me. Like I say, you're trying to talk... He one of them dog men, like I say, he got Bain X, a fake champion. And brothers might say, why you worry about the fake champion so much? Because you got brothers who go out there in them real deal dog shows who make their shits real champions. And then you got these flunkies out here like Welsh Combine Kennels with Bain X, the feminine, the most feminine dog man from the DMV area. You know what I'm saying? Most feminine. With Bain X, a fake champion, trying to sell puppies off of them. That's fucking it up for the brothers who got real champions. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's champions in the treadmill, champions in the weight pool, it don't matter. Champion by their name for a reason. They put in work. The hell with him and his fake damn champions. Like I said before, you know what I'm saying? He's another dick riding, hopping from click to click. He done went from pro. He done went from going hard. Now he with Buck City. Hopping from dick to dick, man. Like Y'all boys hang, birds of a feather flock together, prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? You're doing Garcia like a prostitute, but all y'all, you move like prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? Every every five minutes, whoever want to talk shit about the bait, that's who dick y'all on for that week. You know what I'm saying? When they squash with me, then you go on to the next person dick for that next week. 
You know what I'm saying? Welsh just mad because he pump, pumping a bunch of rock wallows. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of rock wallows with no bulldog intensity in them. You know, no bulldog intensity in them damn dogs. <laughs> That's why he get mad because I talk about the rock wallows all the time. You know, big salute to them brothers with them, them brown color willow peak dogs, them tri color dogs, them rock waller color dogs, and the dogs that got the willow peak eyebrows and the colors. Big shots out to all y'all because I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about these boys with them fake ass thug and Thor dogs. They get mad when I talk about them. Yeah, they some fake ass red devil dogs. Yeah, they, <laughs> David Tan shit you. You know what I'm saying? David Tan shit you. You mad? Don't get mad at me. Call David Tan up. He ain't in jail. Call him up and be mad and do a damn show with him and let him lie to you about how they, uh, uh, the, the Red Devil this and Red Devil that when we done got the damn story. The man who had Red Devil told me what the damn story was. And, and, and the story is damn true. David Tant didn't have the dog. The dog was on that damn man yard. And he didn't he didn't steal the dog. David Tant owed that man some damn money. You know what I'm saying? You hell right. So Thug and Thor, them, they ain't off that real shit. You know, they ain't off the real shit. So the hell with all y'all to get mad to talk about, oh, he talking about something you don't know what he's talking about. That's why they get mad. You know, bootleg shit. Bootleg yellow. You know, <laughs> the hell with it, man. It just is what it is. Now let's keep this thing going. You know, now let's keep this thing going because it seems like I'm the only single thing for y'all brothers to even talk about these days. Y'all talking about y'all content creators. Y'all ain't got nothing to talk about, man, besides Pelican Bay Kennels. A.K.A. Pelican Bay K-9s. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Give it to them how they can't handle it. You know, they want to start something one week and want it, want it to be over the next week when they content and where their views get low. This dude, Buck City, had 12 fucking viewers on this video the other day when he went live. 12 viewers. He went, he, he, he cut that off and went and got Garcia and OG Lope. You know what I'm saying? Went and got Garcia and OG Lope. Because his... When he up there talking about his damn self, he got 12 viewers. Y'all, come on, man. Come with it. Come with it. Come with it, my brothers and sisters, man. Come on, man. We dealing with some flunkies and want to be gangsters, man. Want to be gangsters. That shit don't fly down south round, man. We don't we don't get gas up off that shit and that shit y'all talking about, man. I don't know how pro and them do it in Tampa, but I know real Tampa folk that y'all couldn't let. Y'all wouldn't talk none of that shit to. Just like same way, y'all ain't talking that shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all some fake wanna be tough guys. You know what I'm saying? Wanna be tough guys and all y'all is, is what I'm starting to figure out. <laughs> like that dude <laughs> that running with Thompson, Kendrick. He want me to talk about him bad. I ain't gonna talk about you. I mean, y'all ex bully breeders, man. Y'all ain't on my level, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all boys coming up week after week when y'all feel like y'all got the nuts to come up and talk, man. Y'all boys cowards, man. Go fucking try to breed them fucking dogs y'all got. Like I said before. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of ex-bully breeders. When I was bulldogging, y'all was damn running around here with them gray dogs. You know, them gray bullies. Not even gray pit bulls. Them big fat dogs. Y'all was doing all that shit when I was bulldogging. You know what I'm saying? So shut your little fucking mouths up. You know what I'm saying? Want to be somebody. Want me to talk about you. You know, the whole time I'm talking about Thompson, I know he got a partner named Kendrick. I never mentioned his fucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at, at the end of the day, all y'all in the same boat. You know, ex-bully breeders. And Thompson don't know shit. Don't know shit and ain't doing shit. A little roly-poly looking ass dog, man, that ain't kicking nobody ass. Always talking about what kind of boots he gonna lace up. Always talking about what kind of boots he gonna lace up. <laughs> Your girl must be came to Murder Beach. Only reason why y'all talking shit now. You know, y'all must be over there drunk, getting each other gassed up and getting each other hyped up. Ain't gonna do not a damn thing. I told y'all, man. I can tell y'all pussy by looking at your dogs. You know what I'm saying? How your dogs act different when other people get them. And they pussy when y'all when y'all showing them on y'all videos. Them dogs look weak as hell. You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick want to be part of something so bad. He want to be part of an argument or want to be part of a, a YouTube uh, a scuffle or a battle or something so fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? Dog, I ain't got nothing to say about you. You know, everybody know y'all y'all in that category. You know, you're in the Thompson kennel category. You want to be part of that Thompson shit? You're part of it. You know, so we look at your dogs the same way we look at his. They ain't shit. <laughs> they ain't shit, man. You know, so talk what you want to talk. Kendrick, I will not respond to you, homie. You know what I'm saying? And your boy Thompson, I've been stopped responding to him. You can't tell over the past few weeks. I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about Buck. He's a flunky. 
you know, and Bucks the scum of the barrel. And then he went teamed up with a fake crib. He went teamed up with a fake crib. Now, let's get into some dog news real quick, my brothers. Let's let's look at how these Georgia brothers got time for some dog situations. You know what I'm saying? They got time for these dog situations. But let's get into this dog news. PBK9s, raw and uncut. Let's get into it. To federal prison for their roles in a large scale dog fighting ring. Officials say 96 dogs were rescued during this investigation into a drug trafficking conspiracy in Lawrence, Trutland, Johnson, and Emanuel counties. The five defendants pleading guilty to conspiracy to violate the Animal Welfare Act. They are 43 year old Travis Martin, 42 year old Dennis Wilcher Rand, 41 year old Sintel Carey from Johnson County. In our area, from Sandersville in Washington County, 28 year old Terry Gilmore sentenced to 23 months in federal prison. And finally, 35 year old Jonathan Linder from Lawrence County. Now, before I get back on them boys' ass, you know, one of my brothers asked me, do I, what do I think is the best bloodline that's in Florida? That's South Carolina based, South Carolina based bloodline that's in Florida that doesn't have media in it. Now that's hard to say, brother, because there's a lot of great dogs in Florida. But I will say I know it's a it's some brothers with some great red white stuff down there. Some pure red white stuff. They got some great red white stuff down there. And I've been seeing brothers show some good boys dogs. You know what I'm saying? Uh and we saying without the Mayday stuff in it, you know. Some good boys dogs, and I seen good red white stuff. You know, um, who got them? You know, I can't say really, but I have seen it. You know what I'm saying? Um, good red boy, good balls. When it comes to, well, actually, uh, I don't know where the ball stuff originate from. You know, but far as dogs that I hear, you know, a lot of people speaking high on in Florida these days is balls and red boy. You know. Not saying that the other dogs not down there because they may have the Mayday dogs, but you say dogs without the Mayday stuff in it. So that's why I was saying the um, the boils and the red boy. Let's keep this thing going, though, man. Let's keep this thing going. You know, let's keep this thing going. Now, being that y'all boys keep talking about this Merino pack stuff, like, y'all got to be the silliest individuals around, man. Do y'all not know how much y'all gonna make my puppy sell for by y'all doing these jokes? You think that bothers me, man? Like, that shows me how, like I say, like how silly y'all are, how immature y'all are, because you talking about something and how, how, uh, how much y'all on my dick. You know, how much y'all think about me on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ram, Buck. All y'all boys, y'all talking about my dogs, but y'all have nothing to talk about. You have nothing to speak about. You know, like like when them boys, they, they talk about Bach them. I keep name calling the boys out because they were the ones that bought y'all flunkies on. At least one of y'all flunkies. You know what I'm saying? When, when they talk about Bach, they talk about Tyrone because they know he got dogs. Had had Tyrone that. You know, when they don't talk, when they talk about Ram, they don't talk about not a damn thing. When they talk about Garcia, they talk about Big Red. You know, uh. When they talk about Ross, they talk about his dog. When they talk about Fat, they talk about his dog. When they talk about me, they talk about my dog. They talk about Ram, <laughs> he ain't talking about shit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't talking about a damn thing. You know, when they talk about Buck City, they talking about a fairy tale. You know, a fucking fairy tale. So, I mean, I understand what it is, man. I understand what it is. But just understand that y'all going to help me make money one way or another. You know, when you scream that Merino pack. So, y'all keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep doing it. Because like I said, got puppies coming off Merino. You know, we'll sell the puppies with the Merino packs with them. You know, everybody who get a puppy off Merino, you get a Merino pack with it. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're going to do it. You know, Ram style. You know, Ram style and Elmer G James Givens style. Pellet gun buck style. I might put, put you a pack of pellets in the damn Merino pack. Get a pack of pellets. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, dog. It is what it is. Ram and have flying flags that don't exist, man. Big salute to my, my real crip brothers. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a civilian brother speaking from the outside. You know, speaking from the outside. That was the inside of our world. You know, but the outside of your world. You know what I'm saying? Now. Sir Kennels. 
Sir Kennels, man. How how y'all like about what y'all think about Sir Kennels? You know, he advertises Marino too. <laughs> Sir Kennels, Sir Kennels, let me ask you something, right? I don't know none of your dogs. Can you please tell me one of your dogs' names? Can you can you please tell us dog brothers and sisters in this dog community, in this dog world, one of your dog's names? Sir Kennel. <laughs> Boy, you was a youngin' running around here helping my dog promote. Helping me promote my, my, whatever I'm promoting. You know, Marino name gonna live on. You know, y'all brothers talking about smoking a pack, but on some real shit, right? You know, you talking about smoking a dog. You know, <laughs> be gangsters like y'all boys acting like y'all gangsters and, and talk about smoking some of these brothers in the streets. You know, they done lost their lives in the streets if y'all was gangsters. Because I know I ain't the only nigga done talk shit to y'all boys. The way y'all act, somebody done talk shit to you from everywhere. You ain't never talk about smoking nobody in the streets. You know, because you know what's going to happen to y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? You talk about smoking that fairy tale shit, Marino. And all you're doing is helping me make money. Helping me come up with ideas. Like I said, when I sell these puppies off Marino, you know, that y'all helping me sell, they're going to come with the Marino packs. You know what I'm saying? They're coming with the Marino packs. <laughs> hey. And like I said, Sir Kennels, we don't know shit about nothing with your kennel. You're supposed to be making your channel to help promote your kennel. You making your channel to help promote me. You know, help promote me and my dogs. You know about Mellow Yellow, right? Buck City, you know about Mellow Yellow. And Ram bitch ass know about Mellow Yellow. But we don't know about none of y'all boys' dogs. You know what I'm saying? Michael Myers, he's dead and gone. You know, I, I fuck smoking on a Michael Myers pack. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, why am I say something ignorant like that when I can say something real and something true? Give me some dog history, Buck City Kennels, a.k.a. Cracking Kennels, a.k.a. Shit Man, Elmer James Givens, a.k.a. Frontin' Like You Got Big Money, <laughs> but that shit showed on them pictures. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it just is what it is. What part of what I'm saying makes you so mad that you got to wake up every damn morning to talk about me? You know, you went around. Every damn morning. I don't know. I figured it out one day, man. Y'all boys got plenty of jokes. But y'all ain't got a bit of damn pit bull history. Y'all ain't got a bit of pit bull history. But y'all got plenty of jokes. <laughs> so, hell, I'm the one sitting back laughing. The one having fun. You know, it just is what it is, man. I, I don't know what to tell you no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to tell you no more. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we done we done figured out that while I was bulldogging, y'all was bully breeding dogging. Whatever you call that shit. Bully dogging. You know? And the ones of you that wasn't bully dogging, you wasn't doing shit. Period. Man, I done had Miley Wiles longer than y'all been bulldogging, man. Sir fucking kennels. A wannabe gangster. You know? And following Welsh Combine, like I told you before, his page on shutdown. It ain't moving in the last damn year. You know? Ain't moving a year. I guess he ain't selling enough of that damn Pop Pro Max or whatever the hell he got. That shit he's selling. I guess he ain't selling enough of them black flower, black sunflower seeds and all that shit crushed up in the motherfuckers. Hey, it is what it is, Welsh. Stop making them fake champions, dog. You know? <laughs> I'm going to leave that where it's at, man. I'm going to leave that where it's at. But I know like this is right. I feel sorry. I feel sorry for them dog brothers who don't know nobody else. And maybe they only know Welsh. They only know Buck. You know, they only know Thompson. They only know Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? They only know these dudes. They don't know nobody else. I feel sorry for them. And they got to rely on y'all to give them the truth about this dog game. To give them real legitimate dogs to start their programs up. Man, I feel sorry for them boys, man. Them, them the kind of brothers that fuck the dog game up. Dudes like Welsh. You know, dudes like Sir Kennels. Dudes like T Thompson and Kendrick and Buck City, a.k.a. Kraken, a.k.a. Pellet Gun James. You know, them the kind of dudes that fuck the dog game up for all the lines of dogs. Every damn line of dogs would probably be great lines of dogs if it weren't for dudes like that. You know, if it wasn't for dudes like that, 
Now, each one of y'all getting five viewers every time y'all go live. Now, when y'all go live together, y'all get about 25 views. Viewers, You know what I'm saying? So, I understand why you're doing what you're doing. You know? I understand that shit, man. And it'll be three years down the line before you get paid off that video you just made. You know what I'm saying? It'll be three years down the damn line, you know, before you even get monetized off that shit you, you dropping on me today. You know what I'm saying? And then you ain't going to get shit off of it. Three years down the line, you got damn 60 views on this on this damn video. Man, listen, these are the kind of folk that step into the bait, man. Listen, I'm going to leave it. Like I said, I'm going to leave it where it's at. You know, I'm going to leave it where it's at. Now, Buck want me to stop talking about my old cunt. I wish the hell I would. I wish the hell I would. You know, at the end of the day, Buck can call my old Maul cunt could call Buck and tell him to stop saying this, stop saying that. But right now, I'm in control of this shit. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You got to talk to me, big homie. You know what I'm saying? You got to talk to me. He, you know, he, he done started it now. You know, it wasn't funny when y'all flashing. Fla oh, Pelican Bay Yard. This, it was funny then. It ain't funny now when the rabbit got the gun. You know what I'm saying? You talking to the wrong motherfucker. Talking to Buck. You got to be talking to the bay. I'm the one controlling this shit. You know? I'm just telling you why I'm doing what I'm doing. He can't He can't stop it. Only way he can stop it is stop talking about the bay, period. And then he better admit, you know, what it is. He, right now, he can't even stop. Just by him stopping alone, it ain't going to stop me. He got to admit that he's sub, submitting. You know what I'm saying? Throw in that white flag. You know, admit all that shit you talk, you know, it's a bunch of bullshit. And you don't want that smoke. You don't want to debate. You don't want to get up here and go dog for dog. You know what I'm saying? Admit it. If you don't, then I'm going to keep getting on your ass every damn day. And I'm going to start posting in them groups with them tree huggers, like I said. You know what I'm saying? At the day, everything about me legal. Everything I'm doing legal. Selling my dogs. If I, if I make a career of selling my dogs, I'm going to do it the legal way. Well, if I'm selling 20, 30, 40 dogs, I'm doing it the legal fucking way. So I can care less about what you got going on, Maul Cut. I can care less what you got going on, James El Elmer Givens. You know, when you want that smoke, you get that smoke. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. And like I said before, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, it's hard to stop a man who don't need your dogs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Holler at me when you make a family of dogs, brother Maul Cut. You know what I'm saying? Holler at me when you make a family. When you, when you know what the traits of these dogs is. Y'all boys, Chico Lopez wannabe. And trying to knock that man out. I guess now y'all peak Pelican Bay wannabes. Try to knock me out. But I'm going to be a little more vocal than what Chico do. You know, Chico talk that shit and talk that shit. He do his thing. And he make his damn dogs. That's why y'all be hating on that man. And he sell them for prices y'all can't sell them for. You know what I'm saying? Can't sell them for. And Maul Cunt, you definitely ain't going to be able to sell your dogs for that price. Over there with Tom Garner, because brother's going to be like, why we can't register with ADBA? You know, because ADBA don't accept all Tom Garner shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't accept it. No, uh-uh. So y'all brothers better realize, you want to compete in some of these shows, you better realize a lot of these, a lot of times you ain't going to be able to register up with ADBA and Bonafide when you're dealing with Tom Garner shit. But you ain't heard it from me. You know, we just going to keep, we just going to keep hitting this shit. You know what I'm saying? These brothers coming out with these little M16s. Uh, nah, let me take that back. Y'all come out here with these little small ass little pocket rockets. You know what I'm saying? When I told you I was sitting on some nuclear missiles over here. You know, it just is what it is, man. Let me see. I, I got some more news for these brothers. You know what I'm saying? I got some more news for these brothers and sisters. Let's see here. I got one more. I know I got one more clip of some, some news right here for y'all brothers and sisters. All right. Let's, let's show two... Two folk that was arrested in Fort Mill. They say it's a dog fighting ring, but I don't I don't say it was a I don't know, you know, but it just don't really give me the impression of a dog fighting ring. But 
two the two people was arrested for dog fighting ring and Fort Neal. So y'all check this out. PBK Nines giving it to you fair and unbiased, raw and uncut. Several stories we're following. First, Fort Mill police say two people are behind bars in connection to a deadly dog fighting ring. On Tuesday, officers responded to an animal complaint at a home on Unity Street. Police say they spoke to a witness who said the dogs were fighting in the backyard. After a brief search of the home, officers found the suspects and a large amount of dogs and other animals inside. At least one dog died. Both suspects are now charged with two counts of animal cruelty. Uh, I can't be arguing with you, Sir Kennels, when, when, you know, when I can possibly be, you know, your step pops. You know what I'm saying? Your new step pops. You know, I can't be arguing with you, big dog. You know, now, you remember I gave y'all, I said we're going to have the, the backyard, you know, the, the, the picnic, the backyard picnic for the backyard champions. You know what I'm saying? The backyard boogie. But now we got the fifth or the imaginary players. You know what I'm saying? The imaginary players. Now, who y'all think going to win, you know, the best in show when it comes to the imaginary players? We got Buck City Kennel, Welsh Combine Kennel, Thompson Kennel, Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? We got, who else? You know, the imaginary players. <laughs> Sir Kennels, imaginary players. Who wins the award, my brothers? Imaginary players. All these brothers I'm calling their, name, their names out. Walk them down. Walk them down and still stepping. Ram. You know what I'm saying? All these guys I'm telling y'all about. And I can sit here as one man. One man in, the dog, in this great big dog community. And, and as one man. One young man that's younger. Is, I'm probably younger than some of them boys. You know that I'm talking about. As one man. Talk this much shit to them about their dog credentials. It ain't no way in hell that many of y'all boys is grouped up and none of y'all got no dog credentials. What in the hell is this dog community come to? That's what I'm telling y'all boys about. You got folk all on Facebook, right? See, on Facebook, we wouldn't know how ignorant some of y'all is. We only see how ignorant, how, we can see how ignorant you, you get, but not all the way ignorant. You know what I'm saying? On this YouTube, when y'all get to talking and you won't, you won't respond to certain things. You won't respond when brothers talk shit and you ain't got nothing to respond back. Man, listen, man, y'all just look little as hell. You want to be tough. You know what I'm saying? You want to be tough. And if Pro would have hung in there just enough, if Pro would have had just enough of dog experience, he would have found that shit out too. But he ain't had enough to find out that y'all ain't got no experience. Pro thought, Pro thought uh, Buck City was a real dog man. You know, so he talked shit to you from a dog man's perspective. He thought Ram was a real dog man. He he talked shit to y'all from a dog man's perspective. But I'm a dog person, and I've been through the dog game, and I see flaw and fake in all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why I talk what I talk, and I'm going to say what I say, and I'm going to keep doing it, you know what I'm saying, until it, it until I feel like stopping. You know, till I feel like stopping. You know? We just going to keep doing it, man. PBK style. Keep giving y'all brothers that good dog talk, that good dog news. Keeping y'all informed who the puppy peddlers is, who, who out here trying to bullshit y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? We ain't showed up with that magazine money yet. Now they talking about that's a different little hurt. Yeah, we know it's a different little hurt dealing with you and Maul, cunt. Little hurt probably been dead too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keeping them papers alive. Because y'all y'all good at keeping some papers alive. You know what I'm saying? And we done told him all cut until he start taking his damn medicine. We ain't believing shit. He said he damn say. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep talking your damn name. I don't give a damn about you say you hot and this and all that other shit. You know, when your man mentioned me in a fucked up way, his own. Only popping. I told y'all boys, like I said before, you want them nukes until the nukes get shot off. But you can't. Once you shoot the nuke off, y'all must ain't doing no studying on the nukes. Once you shoot a nuke off, you can't bring it back. You know what I'm saying? You can't bring it, bring it back. So like I said before, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go off on this. Imaginary players. Keep playing y'all imaginary games over there. You know what I'm saying? With folk that, that you know that can get on your level. You know? With folk that can get on your level. I believe Garcia got a little bit of imaginary play in him. You know? He got a little bit of imaginary play in him. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is.
Like I said before, birds of a feather going to flock together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't see no other dog man up on that shit. You know? You don't see no other dog man up on it, but you keep seeing Garcia old happy ass keep popping up, up, up there. You know? I keep telling you, man. I keep telling you, but y'all folk acting like because whatever you've been through, it means something now. It don't mean nothing now when you're moving in disrespectful ways. So the hell with what you feel. The hell with what y'all talking about. PBK knives still on top of the game, still doing what I'm doing, uh, raising my dogs, training my dogs, producing great dogs, and keeping them hating. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, PBK knives, y'all stay safe and legal, and I'm out.